Yeah. History, chapter two, King. Oh, hi, guys. So we're supposed to assassinate Princess Erica, huh? Yeah. That's the mission. So that's what we're going to do. What do you know about her? I've heard she's quite a lady with beautiful golden tresses. Why do you think she's the mark and not Queen Protea? Good point. Protea holds all the real power in Grand Orc. If the goal is to throw the country into chaos, she'd be a prime target. Hey. Uh, hey! The soldiers didn't hear, but we did. <sighs> I think this thing is starting to make sense. Assuming that's true, then this could be quite a scandal in the making. It seems there's more to this than meets the eye. Regardless, our first objective should be to secure a route into the castle. Let's gather some intel first. We got I could use some new stuff I did find something stronger than that. And get the iron sword at least. I keep those.
them. Do you have any produce from Corne Village? For instance... Yes. I don't want the seed. I just want information on how to grow them. Those two. Yep. Yeah, they look like those bandits we took down earlier. The Desert Crows, wasn't it? Huh. They gave us the slip. Where'd they go? Who's this guy? Is it? I don't believe that. Say. Yeah. Oh. Welcome. Oh, and that. So, in the standard timeline, they're winning. Austria's Brigade is winning. about is there something back there Yeah. 
Into the that's a node. There's a hole underneath all these boxes. It looks more like an entrance to the underground waterway than a hole. Yeah, I don't think the average hole has a ladder. Someone must have made this. Think it was those desert crows? Doubt it. Looks way too well made. But maybe they used it to get to the palace. Isn't that dangerous? Maybe, but it's worth checking out. Let's head down. But it stinks. So get down there, you sissy. Uh. <laughs> We're going down. Oh, it smells horrible here. Bro? Yeah. I wanted. Trying to give me a heart attack? Uh. Whoa. Long enough. Say, aren't you guys the bandits we ran across in Lasville Hills? <laughs> That's right. Whatever. We're not after that kind of stuff. We aren't gonna stop you. Huh? Bro! Uh-oh. But... What? Come on. <laughs> Hurts. What lever? Understood. Just told us the answer. Strange guys aside, it sounds like we found our way into the palace.
Good? We good? Okay. More distractions, right? Wow. Too simple. Are you hurt? I can heal you. Oh, we're fine. Don't worry, we got this. Uh, everything is weak here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. I'll get you out of here. Yay! Where is now? Why does this feel like a bad idea? What's in the bag? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? 
Thomas. The next time we see a node, we have to go and do um, Nanastia's quest. She has a new one, I remember. That in. That's what the I won't lose. There we go. Oh my goodness. Too simple. Put that to the ball. Yes. Oh, perfect timing. Oh. Who are them? I've gotten a signal from a worn target. I'm picking up a reading for the sample. Ready for your next assignment? Yes. This time, you're taking a trip to the Grand Plain. Alistil and Granork are both marching their armies there. I'm getting an artifact reading from the battlefield. Sounds serious. Well, be careful on your way. Okay. Possible histories. Our machine nameplate. You know, I heard that Fennel has gone out on the battlefield himself this time. Whoa, really? Why? I don't know the details, but a number of thaw machines have been deployed. Mm. Might be related. We have an emergency! What? That's pretty bad, isn't it? Come. We should go look into this firsthand. Why don't you just 
Let them go rampage all, all over the other way. Enough! What a mess. We haven't even touched Granorg yet. What should we do, Stock? Fennel is the one who knows all about these thaw machines. If anyone can fix this problem, it's him. We should hurry. <laughs> Sir. Oh. Major. We need to talk. If you can't get your Thaw machines under control, we'll be... Hey, uh... Doesn't this guy sound kinda busted? Sure seems like it. There was nothing but strange noises. Wait, did he go berserk like those Thaw machines? He has a mechanical body, too. Oh. What now? Why don't we smack him? That's how I always fix stuff. Hmm. Considering his body, maybe there's an emergency shutdown switch somewhere. <laughs> yes. I guess a nice whack won't hurt, and who knows, it might even help. Yeah, it's worth a try. Give him a hard one. Well, if you two say so, maybe it'll work after all. Nope. Hello? Did... did it work? Fennel? I see. So that's how it is. How do you feel? Can you hear me? Ah, yes. I just had a moment of enlightenment. Oh, I bet you I'm did. I'm not sure what he means by that, but looks like he's back to normal. <laughs> I can sense the thaw machines. It's as if they were my own limbs. <laughs> <laughs> With this, I'll be able to crank up their power even more. <laughs> it's tinkering time. Um, let it be known that my skills are the best in Alistel. No, the entire world. Oh, no. Go, my thaw machine. He used the artifact to make everything stronger. And thus we got the bad end. Oh boy. Reflected in the air. Ooh. Wow. I know awakens. What an ending. Welcome back, Stock. Who could have known a simple smack would hasten the desertification? I think you were just unlucky. There should be other paths you could have taken. Lest you forget, these worlds are connected. Major events in another can influence your own. Please don't lose hope, Stock. We believe in you. Just in case, 
Do you want to record your act? <laughs> Now that we got the bad ending out of the way, let's do the good ending. Put him down. Oh, we kind of know what happens. When I need you to listen to me. Where on your body is the emergency shutdown? See this timeline real quick. Um, be back in a moment. Where would I go to do that? Hey! Fennel, can I bother you for a second? I'm interested in the mechanization of your body. What do you do if it malfunctions? Does it malfunction? It's possible, but rare. Always perform regular maintenance, and it won't be a problem. But, hypothetically speaking, what happens if the machine starts acting up? Well, were that the case, I would need to perform a reboot. And how do you do that? Huh, I can't just tell you that. It's highly classified information. If you want to know that badly, I'll give you a body like mine. Then you can see for yourself. Um, I think I'll have to decline that offer. Anyway, sorry to have taken your time. Oh man. Yes. Indeed. That would be much appreciated. Indeed. In the event of an emergency, I placed a certain something in the medical office. I can't just leave it lying around, so I've hidden it with Thaumatek. It'd be absolutely impossible for a petty thief to find. Magnificent means of protecting confidential material, wouldn't you say? <sighs> that the that the hidden one? No. Hmm. Oh, is this what he was talking about? Hmm. There's something written on this paper.
still, what is this? It'll come to me. It'll come eventually. These things take time. Back to that. Back to the timeline. can't get your thaw machines under control, we'll be... Sure. Put him down. <clears throat> if I'm remembering right, the manual said to access a panel on the back of his head to reboot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, here it is. All I need to do now is enter the right code. I think it's... Um, one four, one four. Mm. That should do the trick. Control of myself was troubling, to say the least. What was it that caused you to go haywire? Well, I attempted to integrate this mystical object into my operating system. I believed it would allow me to control multiple thaw machines at the same time. Uh, but it appears that was a miscalculation. You could have killed someone, you know. Here, I'll be holding on to that from now on. A red disc. <laughs> I'm done with it anyway. Yeah. <sighs> Perhaps if I scale down that sensation, I may effectively use the thaw machines to do my bidding. Off he goes, mumbling to himself. Is he going to experiment again with what he's learned today? Yep. Jeez, all that trouble and he hasn't changed a bit. Well, the thought machine seemed to have calmed down, so at least this case is closed. Yep. Mark and I should go see if anyone's hurt. You okay with that, Stock? Of course. Bye bye. Welcome aboard, Stock. I trust you've got something for me? I do. Here you go. A plus. Thank you, Stock. Machine stud. Danger. I don't feel breakout. <laughs> Ready for your next assignment? For the next possible world, you'll be headed to Grand Plain. I got a strong reading from outside the sand fortress. Unfortunately, the fortress is currently a combat zone. And the Alistelian troops are in a real pinch. Perhaps the artifact there shifted the tides of battle. I'd warn you to prepare for a fight, but you're always ready. Right. I'll handle it. history battlefield breakout I don't let this say on for Hey. 
Hey, where's Keel? Huh? Well, I thought I told you before he took off. He deployed to the western side of the Grand Plain. He's marching with Field Marshal Viola's squad. Ah, right. Sorry, it must have slipped my mind. He looks super fired up, too. Maybe he wants to show off in front of the Field Marshal. He's a little too fired up, if you ask me. <laughs> What's that ruckus outside? Captain! Hang in there, soldier. Someone call a medic. Yes. The field marshal and her squad are in danger. We should send aid to Grand Plain at once. Right. We need to form a team and get back up to her ASAP. You're coming too, Stock. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Hey! Gotcha!
Oh no. Field Marshal Viola, are you all right? I'm sorry. I can't hold them back much longer. If only I were more useful. I could let her escape, at least. I... Field Marshal, I'll create a diversion. It'll only be for a second, but please, run. Don't be ridiculous. Running away would be suicide. If this keeps up, all of us are going to be killed. At the very least, you should be able to get away. Don't give up just yet, Keel. We're here to help. Captain Rush, Sergeant Stuck. Hang on, the cavalry's here. <laughs> Stay back, it's a trap. At this rate, we'll be flanked. But ma'am. <laughs> I'll take care of them myself. Hey, wait! Kill! Please look after Field Marshal Viola. Damn it. Is Kill doomed in this world as well? No. I can't accept that. We're going to defeat Pelzin and make sure Kill gets out alive. Then let's crush this guy! <laughs> Prism is reacting to an artifact. So that's how we managed to best Viola. This is farewell. It's do or die. What in the world are they? Iron shields. I'll be taking that. Red flag. Field Marshal, are you all right? I am, thanks to you and Keel. But now he needs your help. Right. Can I leave Viola to you, Rosh? Of course. Now go back up Keel. He's making it out of this alive, no matter what. I promise. I need to protect everyone. I can't die here. Hey! I'm, I'm not going to go down that easily. Kill! Are you all right? Sergeant? <laughs> uh, I'm saved! Wow, I can't believe you took them down so fast. You did a fine job yourself, Kiel. We never would have rescued Field Marshal Viola had you not bought us time back there. Um... Mm -hmm. 
What's the matter? Well, am I going to be in trouble with Captain Roche and Field Marshal Viola? I went against their orders, after all. I just admire the Field Marshal so much, I, I wanted to act heroic in front of her. It's true that you disobeyed the orders of your superiors. Right. However, your actions today undeniably saved the squad. You cannot be faulted for that. Now, go back with your head held high and put the minds of your superiors at ease. Yes, sir. I'm glad Kiel managed to elude death in this world. Just you wait, Kiel. I'm going to save you someday. All right. Welcome aboard, Stock. The artifact didn't get broken on the battlefield, did it? No, it's fine. Here. Red flag. A plus work, Stock. We're one step closer to undoing the desertification. Something from that potential world troubling you? It's just... I actually succeeded in protecting someone important to me over in that world. I know how you feel. But if you keep at it, you'll one day make that possibility come true. I'll be with you all the way. <sighs> Thanks, Demacia. By the way, how much do you know about Vancor's history? Done! Not much. All I really know is that Alistel was founded by Noah after he fled from Gran Ork. So, just the basics. Then allow me to fill you in on the rest. It's important info, after all. Only by understanding the past of this continent can we hope to save its future. Makes sense. And I suppose a historian like you is the most qualified teacher around. <clears throat> Let's begin. Long before Noah was ever called a prophet, he was a Thaumatech engineer. At the time, Granorg had fallen into a great famine. Noah tried using Thaumatech to help people. But the king of Granorg outlawed its use. So Noah gathered those who needed it and expatriated. And that was when he founded Alistel. But I have to wonder, why was Thaumatech forbidden? Excellent question. All I know is that as soon as Alistel began to thrive, Granorg attacked it. The prophet Noah used Thaumatech to lead his people to a golden age. Granorg coveted that power. So while one nation thrived, the other was slowly wasting away. Explains why Granorg declared war. It was all so they could find a means of survival. I have a theory that the war would have never started if not for the desertification. It's true that the war must end. We have to stop it somehow. However, that's just treating a symptom, not curing the disease. That's right. None of this will truly be solved until the desertification is halted. Something else here. Oh, I gotta put a wrong code in. That's what that is. Danger. Looking to. All right, let's go. Let's go. Mess up. Four, 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 four. That should do it. <laughs> it's 
so weird. Self destruct code received. Oh God. Self destruct. What would he ever need a self destruct function for? As this effort. Every machine has a kill switch of some kind. Why are you happy about this? This can't be happening. What? All personnel, please evacuate immediately. Uh, guys, just... quit blabbering. We gotta get out of here. Oh, I can <laughs> Bye bye. I beg your pardon? Oh no! I don't know. Rebooting isn't working. This is the present time. This is the original timeline. This voice actor must have had a field day with this scene. I beg your button. <laughs> Impacted him in the original history as well. I'm um, completely. Aww. Or. But oops, lost pioneer. Welcome back, Stock. It appears the machine man known as Fennel is vital to Alistair's survival. Even your idle curiosity can change the world. Impressive. <laughs> Why did he build himself with a self destruct function? <laughs> Every machine has a kill switch of some kind. Yep. You have to be kidding me. Please do not lose hope, Stock. We pray that you will find the proper path soon. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? I like how he's freaking out about it, too. It's like, why does this exist? Why is this even a thing? It's like... There it is. Wow, he got... You get two bad histories out of that. That's kind of crazy. Is there more to this? You know. Um, so yeah. All we could do now. We did all the missions. What is that one? Alright, I know where we're going next. That's crazy, though. Like, some of these inter endings are actually really interesting to watch. Um... I'm gonna take a quick break. When I come back, we'll continue.